Hello. Wanted to show you guys my latest free finds. Nothing too special, just a couple of 2003 Gerbers. Um, still working at that thrift store. The guy showed up, asked me if I wanted a couple toilets. So I said, sure. We're not supposed to accept toilets there, but, um, you know, I figured I could just take them home for myself if, if, uh, nobody wanted them, and so that's exactly what I did. Dog. Um, anyway, the general protocol at work is to, um, just throw away toilets in our dump truck if, uh, if we get any, we usually get more modern ones that are like in horrible shape, but these were really nice and I kind of liked them. Apparently an old lady had them in her house and um, she's just getting quite elderly. She needed comfort height ones, so they um, they replaced those. Let me show you in here. I, um, they replaced them with, uh, new Comfort Height Gerber Viper toilets. So I have the boxes for those up there. And then this is pretty cool. Um, I got some of the old paperwork with the, uh, 2003 toilets. This is, um, information about the fill valve. So there's the old uh, thing there, 111703. And then there's the interesting thing. I got the instructions for the Comfort Height Viper toilets. So um, these, are, these are the new ones. There's kind of an exploded view on that. Fill valve and all that kind of stuff. Apparently these have a three inch flapper on them, so I'm sure they're just those basic uh, quick flushing, poor bowl rinse toilets. So, yeah, got all that with it, which I think is pretty cool. Then you can see, um, I didn't get all the hardware with them. Um, like the bolt to tank hardware. I think they actually use those on the new ones because it's actually in pretty nice shape. So I just assembled this one for demonstration purposes today. You can see this one actually has a replacement fill valve. I thought this was the original because it's an older ball float style, but um, it's based on the paperwork. Oh, God damn it. There goes the hose. Uh, turns out that's the original one. You can really tell, um, this was the master bath toilet, and this was obviously the guest one. So you can just tell this one's more worn out, has the replacement parts in the tank. It's a little more scuffed up, whereas this one just wasn't used as much. Anyways, uh, not gonna mess with that one today. Not too much. I'll flip it over and show you all. Um, I've never seen these flush, but just based on that thing here, I'm guessing it's just gonna be a straight down flush, kind of like uh, my Lamosa toilets. This one I got with a broken seat as well. Um, see the date stamp in the tank there, or the tank lid. For some reason this lid doesn't have any uh, stampings on it, so I thought that was interesting. Sasa tank. If anyone could tell me what that means, that'd be cool. It's 
kind of the underside of this one. And that one's got the uh, same dank stamp on the bottom. Some sort of number there. Big 01. And then uh, this stuff on the bottom. Right there. Does it have it on that side? Yeah, it does. I'll show you guys that. Oh, that just says Sasa on it. Whatever that is. So, um, yeah, most of you know I am um, mostly into um, pre 1990 stuff. I don't really like the 90s and newer fixtures but um actually there are a lot of cool 90s fixtures don't get me wrong but um yeah i thought these were nice they don't deserve to die i will be keeping them in my slowly slowly but surely growing collection anyways we'll um show a dry bowl flush here and then it would flush like normally. So this will be the first time I see this as well. Huh. It's interesting. I don't like that though I'm not sure um like I said I don't even know the model on these so if any of you have used these before tell me if they're any good I've never actually gotten a chance to use one as I like that though it's powerful enough let me get this filled back up All right, that uh, last flush there was just past the water line and tank, so um, this one will be as well. Just barely past it. I also didn't know Gerber um, Gerber toilets were made in Mexico. It's kind of interesting. Would have never guessed, especially with a name like Gerber. But um, unless it's got uh, Spanish and then. Uh, English on the water line there. That's kind of interesting. That's the, um, that's the water line for the bowl. Not a very big one, I must say. But, let's see what this does. gotta say that flush is almost exactly like the Lamosa toilet so anyways that'll be all for today I'll do like more close-ups and stuff like that um, some other time but um, let me know if you guys want to see anything with these I don't know if any of you also have them or Similar ones, uh, what kind of tests I should do, do like a grocery bag test, a bunch of paper, you know, that kind of stuff. You guys are flushing some weird stuff nowadays though, I don't even know. If I start doing this kind of stuff more though, I'm thinking I'll maybe like put a test stand here and then do kind of like what, uh, what BTR has going where um, there's a pipe that runs back into a bin just so that I can save water. That kind of bothers me a little bit just letting it flood out onto the ground. It's part of what I don't like about um, most cases flushing these outside because I like to just hear the siphon but in these kinds of videos most of what you hear is the water rushing onto the ground so I'd like a system kind of similar to like I said what BTR has where they're up on a stand 
then there's a pipe that runs a ways a little bit and into a bin. So you save water and the audio is a little bit better. Yeah, like I said, uh, just let me know what you want to see. I'm still working on that thing. Thinking I might try to repair the tank for it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see.